change because we're just like old dogs. We're old dogs and we think, well, I've always done it that way. I've always done this. I told you the price shopper syndrome, how many years, 30 years, my mother's like, go to price shopper. I'm like, no, no, no. Why didn't I go? I love it there. And my husband came home the other day, he goes, why didn't we go to price shopper? That's a really great store, I love it there. He saves a million dollars in gas. Everything I do now, I look at it from a price shopper syndrome point of view. <laughs> Somebody will say to me, have you ever tried this? I'm like, no, but I'm going to. I'm going to try it tomorrow. Because what good is not changing? How has it done us any favors? If you always have fried fish on Friday, because you always have, and the payoff is that maybe you'll need to have less calories the next day, you got to think about it. And Megan, who's in Alaska, hi Megan in Alaska, how are you? She sent this smart goal setting. We actually did this in 2008, but I've included it here because here's what people will say. I'm going to eat healthier and I'm going to exercise. I said it. Well, what does it mean? Now, if you say, well, I'm going to have oatmeal for breakfast, I'm going to have turkey with no bread for lunch, with perhaps some fruit on the side. For dinner, I'm going to have a, a, a small side sale and a piece of, of broiled chicken or put chicken on the grill. That's eating healthy. Then I'm going to go for a two-mile walk. Then the next day, you say, I did those things. That's smart goal setting. You said what you're going to do, then you do it. Saying you're going to eat healthy and exercise is just saying you're going to eat healthy and exercise. You're not doing it. And the thing is, it isn't, I'm not exhausted. I don't say, oh, this is so tiring. I can't believe I got to, some days I get ticked. I do. I go, why can't I have the whole bag of chips? I want a whole bag of chips. Yeah, we're human. But really, it's nothing. Do you think I'm a happier person now than I was at my highest at 371? I am. I'm happier now. Also, session six ends right before Christmas. And then we go into the Christmas mode. Ellen, there's parties. There's Thanksgiving. Well, we had the same thing last year and the same thing the year before. So what we have to do is say June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Well, actually July. We got to pick a number, even if it's 10 pounds. There's many people in this room who did not lose 10 pounds in session five. So let's pick 10 pounds. And then you tick it. You go, I'm going to go one pound in July, one pound. You have to have these measurable goals. 